Yo, my people, welcome to Behind the Hits, hosted by Mixtape Madness with myself, Ebbs. In this series, we're going to be showcasing the growth and evolution of production in the UK rap music scene over the years. Brixton, home to some of the most notable UK drill and rap figures. Today, I'm going to be talking with The Founding Father, a producer who's produced various hood classics with 6-7, Young's Teflon, Blade Brown, K-Trap, Rico Squeeze and more. Khans Hill. Cards. Yeah, what's going it's a on, pleasure man? every time to have you here, man. What are you saying, man? Oh, what's thanks, that saying? Man. I'm good still, man. Not too bad, man. I can't complain. Yeah, okay, man. Okay. Run it through from uh, a youth for us, because I know I think there's a bit of musicalness in the family. There's everything going up. Like, yeah, just run us yeah. through the years. Like. Yeah, Trenters have always kind of been musical from young. And when I was young, I used to watch East Enders before it started. I used to play yeah. along to the little... The intro, The dude. intro, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, <laughs> you know me? But what, what <laughs> instrument? Piano. Just like... Uh, just, what uh, my little piano still. Oh, okay, you know okay, me? okay. I just play along to it or any adverts and stuff. That's where I kind of started then. Um, run me through, like, your, your influences, like, the people you saw, the artists, the producers, and what then, like, when you was younger, had a heavier impact on you, whether it was, like, you know, TV, radio, like, run me through I the think, influences. And I like, think I was more... I was always, like, going to box and yeah. MTV and that. Okay. From yeah. when I was young, innit? So... It'd be like producers like Timberland yeah, and Pharrell yeah. and you know, Just Blaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind yeah, of at the start, yeah. and those are like the kind of like, yo, they're kind of sick. So yeah. I'll be like in school trying to make a Timberland beat or something. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? I think when I went to college, it was kind of more so solid were kind of the main guys. So yeah. I'll be trying to make a beat like Swiss or Oxide or something. Oh, Do you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just being yeah. there, remaking rap this. Okay, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I put you with your earlier sound. It's, there's a lot more like looseness, I could say. So not as much structure, but these were guys to me then that had a lot of structure to their beats. So when you were hearing that, obviously you were making some beats before. How did that hit you? Like, were you like, whoa, these guys have like a lot in in check or how did that, how did you? No, I feel really... like, I feel like just copying like, just my earlier days of producing like when yeah. I was young, like 15, 14, I was just obviously trying to recreate whatever I could recreate because oh, yeah, I was just yeah, learning. Yeah, yeah. But, I think as I got older, I kind of realised that these men have distinctive sounds. Yeah, Which yeah. kind of just, like, even from Solid, so Solid and Heartless, it all just had that distinctive yeah. sound which made them them. Oh, okay. So I kind of went on that journey to kind of find my sound. Yeah. And what was me and what I kind of suited was different to everyone else. And okay. I kind of always followed that formula just to not be like everyone else or yeah, sound yeah. like everyone else, just to have my own. So yeah. you hear it, you ever need a hair tag, you just know that, oh, yeah, yeah so he made that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we even start talking about drill, drill wasn't around then, like the way it is now, the way yeah. you could argue, like, all the youth are doing it because that's their voice and stuff yeah. then. Like, obviously, to me, you being, the, like, the founding father, what did you, like, look up to or what inspired you? Because these lot, if, if you think about it, have everything around them. Yeah. But back then, you, you didn't have that, so I want to get into the mind, like, what did you listen to and what pushed you to kind of touch that sound? Well, at, at the time, know? I was more, at the time, about, what's that, 2014 and that, I was kind of, I was heavily into like Southside, yeah, hey, yeah, wait, yeah, Mafia yeah. and that, and like Gucci, I was just banging Gucci yeah, all the time, Gucci, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I was making a lot of trap and rap with Blade and, and Tef yeah. and doing my whole OT series and stuff yeah, at the so time. So I think the sound change was kind of linking up with 6-7. Okay. And, um, just linking up with them, I just I was just like, Ray, I want to give you like, your own sound. That's yeah, just yeah. that kind of defines you from everyone. I find okay. every single artist has in their own voices yeah, a, yeah. A, a particular tempo that they're comfortable with, yeah. or, a, or a particular pitch or key that okay. their voices kind of blend the most with. Yeah, yeah. So I find with every single different artist, I kind of have to find those key elements. Yeah. Then I kind of then I got like a canvas to play with. There was a lot of south side mm -hmm. and all of that, and but when it was when it was the studio moment. When you stumbled across that sound, talk me through how that was made, how that came to you, what happened, like... It was literally, like, it was literally, I would never lie, it was literally just the energy of 6-7. Is it? Yeah. yeah like, them what, kind of sitting on hearing their stories, what they was going through. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Just putting on different type of beats and yeah. seeing what they kind of clicked to. What, okay. Do you know what I mean? Listening to what they listen to, just yeah, yeah. kind of just vibings with them was kind of just yeah. where I kind of got to the thing where... Because we made loads and loads of tunes that yeah, probably never yeah. come out, but there was just particular ones that 
we all clicked and said, yeah, this is cold. What kind of cons do you see yourself being in the next, like, two to three years? I'm a person who likes to be aware of my surroundings. Yeah. Even though I don't copy what's going on, yeah. I like to be aware of what's happening and what direction things are going into. Yeah. So I'm the type of person who would actually just sit down and monitor and then, bang, I'll oh, come okay. and I'm like, OK, cool, this is what I'm doing. Yeah. This is my interpretation of it. Okay. So I couldn't tell you. you know yeah, I mean? I'm not even surprised. I, I, <laughs> listen, I, I, even, I wanted to ask you because I wanted to ask you. You never know the answer, but I'm not even surprised at that answer. That makes sense, man. How has your sound evolved as the years has passed? Like, um, like I said, bad things always to go against the grain or go against what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like with the, all the new producers coming in, like sometimes the producer, there's a producer that's just so hard, yeah. you just got to chill. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Not get lost in the source. Yeah. So there's a lot of times like, because everyone has stage segments and yeah, times yeah. where, yo, this person's going crazy. Yeah. I was fine, that's the time to kind of chill, to take it in, take everything in. I take that time just to work on myself and to yeah. kind of like work on my sound and what I'm kind of developing and yeah. what kind of makes sense to the change of sound that's happening. Yeah. I see a lot of producers getting lost and then trying to recreate yeah. what's, what they feel was popping, not knowing that really and truly the, music that, the musical direction always changes with that one new sound yeah. that comes. Just like, let's take let's take Pharrell. When he came with the grinding and that, yeah. the clips and everything, I was like, everyone's like, oh my gosh, this is, yeah, 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 what yeah. is this? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's the type of producer I want to be like, when I do come back out again, yeah. or I do drop something, you turn around and think, oh, what, what is this? You do draw, you do rap, but there are sounds and elements of your beats that sometimes don't even want, to, I don't want to put anything onto you sometimes. <laughs> like, but if you obviously had to categorise that, what would you say like? Get a message all the time saying, yeah. where have you been, where, where? I've been making a lot of R&B. Obviously okay. with the artists I manage and stuff. Yeah. So that's, that's something I've kind of been venturing into. Just to exercise myself and just kind of broaden my horizons, yeah. show that where I look just for rap and drill yeah, or yeah, trap, definitely. I can do everything, do you know yeah. what I mean? So, that's kind of mainly like the last year and a half I've been taking out and just kind of working. Oh, focusing on that. Yeah. yeah. But I'm looking to hit every genre. I'll give everything a try. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I love music, so oh, there's okay. nothing I'm not scared to kind of give a try. I don't mind failing as well, do you know what I yeah. mean? I wouldn't imagine there's any, there's not a lot of chasing around and things like that because you've got that tight relationship yeah. already for years now with the people you work with. Um, how what's what's the experience with that like would you say that's just it's a lot easier that way have you ever had to run into those sort of troubles that a lot of these other producers coming up do you know where it's nah, like because placement chairs this that no nah, i've never kind of had that I've, and i just kind of just stay loyal with the people with the circle i work with yeah, because yeah. i really truly believe if it wasn't for those people then i wouldn't be concealed yeah yeah, you yeah. Know, and that undying loyalty like if they need something then yeah, yeah that's yeah. there for them because i fully know this that the relationship we had the fact that they would always use my music, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Any kind of project I'll have, they'll be like, yeah, cool. I've never kind of ran for whoever's popping or yeah, whoever's this yeah. person at the time. I've always kind of looked at it and thought to myself, rah, all right, cool, I need to go. I need to make something harder for them and them. And because we're so clear, they're not, not scared to kick me up the ass and say, no, I can't, this is shit. Yeah. You're so harder. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Skrill will be on me, Teff will be on me, Blade will be on me. Do you know what I mean? Men yeah. will be on me, they're like, no, 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 this is not the one. Yeah, yeah. You will go. Beyond, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Nah, like Blaze, the, like he's probably the most worst when it comes. Oh, is it? Yeah, because he's like, be, I've been bit, I'll make something and say, no, I can't, come out the box. <laughs> yeah, come out the box. Oh, so he's, he's the one, he's <laughs> the one that tells you, no, I'm not yeah, happy. He's be the, yeah, he's the, he's, the, he's the worst with it still, yeah. but I, I love him for it still, because he'd be yeah. like, yeah, just cool, but we've got to come out the box, we've got, yeah. we've got to go left, oh, we've okay. got to stop playing safe. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, boom, so cards, uh, run me through your music creation process and how that goes. So normally I'd, I would, um, I'll start with melodies and stuff as well and try to like manipulate the sound of, of um, the melody as much as I can. And what I found here yeah, using the, um, the circuit rhythm here yeah, is that like the way you can slow things down yeah, and the way I'm very hands on with like just playing keys and stuff like yeah. it kind of gives me like a different advantage I find different melodies and yeah. melodies that I have already. Yeah. Like the way you could just add filters, yeah. like literally just turn like I don't have to like go through a bunch of presets, I could just turn it to oh, what yeah, I yeah, want yeah. and do you know what I mean? Like I could slow it down as much. Yeah, and because it's that just hands on, it yeah. just kind of makes a difference. And I end up finding a whole different melody and something that I thought was cool already. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I wish I might turn around and break into like a B part of the beat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I might have used the first part of the melody and then 
the second part, as in the part B that corresponds through both of them, mm. I'm gonna use that next part which I found by like just, just changing the key or the pitch oh, okay. of that melody, which is, I think it's kind of cool on there still, man. Yeah. Bow, that was Behind The Hits and I just chopped it up with Khan's Hill obviously hosted by Mixtape Madness and sponsored by Novation hosted as well by myself, Ebs and till next time